Hi, my name is Rebecca Norton, and I will be hosting some of the cooking classes for Community Ed. Football season is finally here, so today the recipe I'm going to show you is a healthy take on a buffalo chicken dip. The items you're going to need to complete this recipe are a square or a rectangle baking dish, an instant pot, or if you'd like to cook your chicken on the oven in a pot and boil it, that is completely fine too. And you're going to need an oven set to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. For this recipe, you're going to need a pound and a half of chicken breast, a half cup of hot sauce, a half a cup of white ranch, one full package of reduced fat cream cheese, and three fourths of a cup of any reduced fat cheese. To cook my chicken, today I'm going to use my Instant Pot, but you're welcome to use a pot of boiling water on the stovetop or any other process that you would like to. So in order to make sure that my chicken does not stick to the bottom of the pan of the Instant Pot, I'm going to spray just a little, and then we'll use tongs to then transfer my chicken into my Instant Pot. And every Instant Pot recipe, you have to use a minimum of one cup of a liquid. So today I'm just using water, but you can use chicken broth or any other liquid you would like. Um, in order to make sure that it is shreddable and ready to go, I'm going to click manual and I'm going to cook my chicken for 12 minutes on high. While your chicken is cooking, this is the perfect time to go ahead and make your sauce for your buffalo chicken dip. You're going to take one half cup of hot sauce and put it into a saucepan that is on medium heat. And then you will add your light ranch, a half cup, into the same measuring cup, into the same saucepan. You're also going to add your reduced fat cream cheese at this time. Once you've added those three ingredients into your saucepan, you're going to just let it get warm and let all the ingredients melt together. While your chicken is cooking and your sauce is melting down, go ahead and spray your baking pan with some non-stick cooking spray so that your buffalo chicken dip doesn't stick to it. Once your chicken is done in the Instant Pot, you're going to let it naturally release the excess steam that is built up in it and then turn the valve just to make sure there is no extra steam to come out and you are going to open the Instant Pot away from your body so that the steam goes the opposite way. Now, to shred our chicken, here's a little trick. You're going to take your chicken out of your Instant Pot and put it directly into a stand mixer or a bowl with a hand mixer. I use the whisk attachment in order to shred the chicken. Now that my chicken is in my stand mixer, I'm going to begin by slowly turning it on and I'm going to let the steam release because it's really hot and you don't want to burn yourself. Once you see a lot of the steam release, you're going to bump it up just a little so that it shreds it into smaller pieces. Once your chicken is shredded into small pieces, we are then going to add our buffalo ranch mixture into our shredded chicken. Then you're going to mix it together until all of your chicken and your um, buffalo ranch mixture are well combined. You're then going to take your 3 fourths cup of reduced fat cheese and you can either pour all of it in, pour some of it in, and leave the rest for the top, or you can top the entire thing with your full three-fourths of cheese. I like half and half, so I'm gonna put half in it, and then save the rest for the top. Once I'm done mixing, I'm going to put it directly into my baking dish that we sprayed earlier. spread it thin. Then I'm going to top it with the remainder of my cheese 
or if you decided to save it all, you can put it all on top right now. And then I'm going to safely open my oven and put in my buffalo chicken dip. It is going to cook for 20 minutes, so go ahead and set your timer. Once your buffalo chicken dip is out of the oven, you're going to let it cool for just a few minutes and then you are going to scoop it out and put it into your serving dish. To keep it on the healthy side for healthy um, buffalo chicken dip, I like to serve with celery and carrots. Now that your buffalo chicken dip is done, you can sit back and watch your favorite football team play. I hope to see you virtually on our cooking shows with Community Ed.